Hello everyone, welcome back uh, to the course. Uh, in this video, I will show you how we can remotely connect to, to, the, to the Raspberry. As we saw in the previous video, we should install some, uh, some application. Uh, you can uh, easily download it. Uh, they, are, uh, they are for, for free, open source application. And just install them, uh, we need PuTTY and VNC. So VNC server on the, on the Raspberry, and VNC viewer on the, on the host computer. So now uh, our remote computer is Raspberry, and our host computer is, uh, is my, my, uh, my laptop. OK, so by this, uh, we can easily connect to, remotely connect to, to Raspberry. We need to just uh, make sure that uh, we have the both computers in the same network. So if we just uh, write R-A, you can see all the IP address in, uh, in, the, in the network. And I know that it's uh, for, the, for the Raspberry. So if I ping it, 192, 168, 43, 122, you see it's, it will reply me from this uh, in the in the nine uh, milliseconds, so and so on. So, we, I, uh, by this I can uh, realize that it is in my in my in the same network. So the computer by this uh, replies uh, uh, can easily understand that it, it can connect to the to the remote computer. So when uh, we realize this, we just need to open the the PuTTY, P O. TTY. And then here you should enter the, the IP address of the, of the remote uh, computer. So it's, we have the one, uh, one uh, Raspberry, and we should import, uh, should uh, enter the uh, IP address of that. Okay? 192, 168, 43, uh, 122. So, and then enter. Mm -hmm. I entered it wrongly, okay, excuse me. 192, 168, uh, 43, uh, 122. Okay, that's work. So, and then it will try to connect to the, to the Raspberry, and then it will ask for the username and password at the beginning. So as, as I said, uh, the, the default uh, username and password of Raspberry uh, for the username is PI, PI. And the, for the password is Raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. Okay, and then we will see that uh, from uh, here, uh, it's connected to this, it's wrote uh, pi, uh, at sign Raspberry, Raspberry Pi. So, and then you can do anything that, that you want. For example, you can change the directory to, to desktop, for example, desktop. By this, and here you can uh, see the list of uh, files in there with the with the ls. So you can see that it is the or, or code here at the uh, at the beginning. This is the code uh, camera that we made uh, two videos uh, before. This is the image that we captured at that video, and this is the test uh, that py the Python uh, file that's empty. We made it uh, uh, to to see how we can make a uh, made a, make a Python file. So, and then you can write, run your, your code from here, Python, and you can write code that Py, you can run it here if you like with the working with this the terminal view of your, your Raspberry. If you don't like to work on this and you want visually see what's, uh, what you are doing in the, in the Raspberry, instead of uh, uh, having the, the PuTTY, we should use VNC Viewer. So, but before that, as we saw in the previous video, we should install the uh, VNC server with the port one. Okay. When we make it, uh, when we make the, the server enable, so we can open the VNC viewer, and here we should add, uh, we should enter the address of the, the machine. So 192, I have several uh, uh, views here, 168, uh, 43, so this is the one. And 
as, as I uh, mentioned, that the port enable the port one of the VNC server. Here I, I should write, here you can see, I should write the, the port one. Should, it should connect to the port one. So, and when you enter it, it will, maybe it will ask you uh, a password, but as the password is saved here, it didn't ask me a password. And you can, you, you have the desktop of this. So this is your code. This is the, the empty test file. This is the image that we captured two, two videos in, uh, in the previous two, vid two video. And so, and you can do anything that you want. You can uh, change your code. You can run it uh, like you are using the screen. So by this, you can easily uh, connect it in, for example, the, the roof of uh, your, your greenhouse and with the laptop, even outside of your greenhouse, with the wireless uh, network, you can connect this and manage uh, your, your Raspberry uh, or your machine. Or it can be, a, for example, Latte Panda and so on. OK, by this, uh, at this point, we finish uh, this video. And for the next video, I will show you how we can use uh, depth cameras and which type of depth camera we, we can use for the low-cost uh, depth uh, image, imaging system. And then uh, after that, I will, uh, I will show you how we can use the, the depth, uh, depth camera uh, plus the RGB, uh, depth and RGB camera uh, for capturing your images. Okay, uh, thanks for, for your watching. See you in the next video.